Good morning, good morning. Hope you're having a wonderful morning. My name is Alex Cooper. I teach the computer classes for the Columbia County Libraries. Um, I teach for the uh, Columbia County Library in Evans, the Harlem Library, and of course our new Grovetown Library too. And of course today we're hanging out in our, libra our Harlem Library Facebook page. So hello Harlem, yay. <laughs> Very glad that you're here with me today. Uh, so the class we're doing today is our video creating basics class okay so very glad that you're here and this is going to be a little bit different I'm mostly just going to work on a few projects and hopefully have some people drop in and maybe some ask some questions and stuff of course you may be watching the video late well, later so I'm still going to be doing some hands-on and kind of going through steps and everything hey Mac welcome welcome glad you're here today welcome welcome now as usual feel free to ask any kind of questions you have do you realize this is on our YouTube channel if you've come over from the GCHRL.org website 
or if you come over from the Facebook on Harlem website, uh, one of the things you need to do is if you're going to talk in the chat or if you're going to say hello or anything or even subscribe or like our videos, you do need to be signed into YouTube. Okay, so do realize that. So the biggest question I start out with is how can I help? Okay, is there any projects you've been working on? Anything that you said, hey, I really want to be able to do some video editing and, uh, uh, you know, I don't know, someone's birthday coming up, maybe you're going to do some surprise video for them. Got some folks going back to college, going back to school, and we may want to do some videos for them too and kind of surprise them with it and something they can share, um, something you can share with friends or family members, you know, and, and have a good time. Are you working on maybe filming your own little movie, little short film kind of thing, and want to know a little bit more about some basic editing techniques and some good ideas. Well, you come to the right place. So today we're going to be using, oh, let me go ahead and we'll talk about some of our other classes coming up, and then we'll jump into class. So uh, yesterday we had a class, and then today we have our at Harlem Library Facebook page. <laughs> we posted there. We're going to be covering our video editing basics, okay? So we're going to be talking about the free Windows Photos app, okay? Uh, so we're going to use it to create a slideshow. We're going to talk about editing videos. We're going to talk about creating title cards, 3D models, adding some special effects, and even some music too. So this is kind of a bit of an addition to our video class, video, um, excuse me, our photography class because this got more and more prevalent. We're using just the Photos apps as a photo organizer, but now because it's more robust and it has a nice video editor, I thought we needed to talk about that too. Now this afternoon at 2.30, we're gonna be doing our Google Suite class, and I'm actually in the way of my text, so I'll move out of the way for a minute. And uh, so the big thing, uh, hang on. And move something there. All right, so the big thing here, of course, is that we're going to be doing the Google Suite. We'll talk about all the free um, things that you can do with the Google Online, Google Docs, and everything, sheets, slides, and come back for that at 2.30. Here's some of our classes for the rest of the month. Okay. Uh, tomorrow, we're going to be doing eBay and Facebook Marketplace, Internet Buying and Selling. And then in the afternoon, we're going to be doing birding okay so come back and join me that for that uh, we'll be doing that class for the Grovetown library but you can find all of our classes here on our Facebook page and let's see well, so next week we'll be talking about Windows 10 flash drive basics introduction to Raspberry Pi computing and project ideas and also we'll be doing internet shopping and digital couponing, okay? And at the end of the month, we'll be doing gadget help, uh, a double morning and afternoon, and this is a drop-in, so if you're having tech problems with anything, just stop by, okay? A little side note, our libraries are open with limited services and hours. Curbside Holds Pickup is available, and you can go to gchrl.org for details. Our call into the library with questions Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Please don't forget to like us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel and for updates of all our kind of stuff. Now, right now we're actually on our YouTube channel, but the easiest way to find our YouTube channel is just search YouTube for GCHRL videos, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and back here. And I'll reappear. Yay, I'm back. And basically, what we're going to be doing is, let's go ahead and get started. We'll do a little bit of overview of our program today. I don't know, got something loading. Mm-hmm. <laughs> There we go. 
<laughs> All right, so let's talk about our program that we're going to be using today is our Windows 10 Photos app, okay? Microsoft Windows 10 Photos app is kind of the full name of it. Um, I wish it was just a little bit something simpler. Uh, in the day, back in the day, <laughs> like Windows XP and stuff, we actually, Windows did come with a small little video editor. There are sometimes I watch like an old video on YouTube and you hear, you see that big blue uh, back screen, backdrop with the right type of text. And the interesting thing about that is you're like, oh look, it's Windows uh, Movie Maker, which is what it was called, okay? So I, in my view, it's kind of like the Windows Movie Maker is back. So you don't have to download any kind of special software or anything, and you can actually create, um, as it says here, create new adventures, okay? <laughs> so I'll also list the, uh, the links and stuff I'll talk about at the end of class. But here's one that's kind of a bit of an overview of the software, and I will disappear so we can see it. So basically it talks about you can use it as an organizer. That's what we talk about and use it for in our photography class. It'll edit, it'll, excuse me, it'll um, organize uh, photos and it'll also organize um, videos as well. Okay, I know I had to think about that, but maybe sometimes you do. So what can you store? It'll do things like fast find. You can do kind of searching. It has some enhancements on here. Uh, the one they're even showing there, it shows that you can include some 3D effects, which we're gonna be talking about. Let's see if I can zoom in just a bit here. All right, so it's a little bit better. And then of course, uh, make movie magic, okay? Uh, this is still within the app, okay? Um, you can basically, what we're going to be doing today is, is you basically can can um, access this and the big thing about it is is that you can import videos that are not in uh, the photos app, okay? Or not in the, uh, someone say the, the, the photos or pictures folder, okay? And we have a little video, and I'm going to show that real quick. Go, go. Microsoft Photos helps everyone tell and share their stories with new creative experiences. Find your best digital memories to make a video instantly. And hit the remix button to restyle it. Dude. We need to send this to your mom. She's gonna love it. Add a personal touch and voila, your story is ready to share. Microsoft Photos lets you use video in your professional life too. Use your phone to get the perfect shots for your project. Send them straight to your PC and start creating right away. At home, at work, and at school, Microsoft Photos brings video editing to everyone. <laughs> okay, so. So we're talking about filming it. I mean, excuse me, using it even to edit, maybe in like a little short film, family film, and of course in our photos. Uh, class, we mostly just talk about it being used as like a slideshow, which I'm going to be showing that today. I'll be showing a, a several projects. Also, talking about trimming our videos, playing with the realities, what they call that, basically adding kind of effects, touches to it. All those are included and in free with the program. And it talks a little bit more about them in the different sections here, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna click learning more. And it kind of goes into creating films with our videos, using our video editor, 3D effects, create a video, adding text to our video, so we're just kind of kind of walk through this. This is a little bit different, kind of our normal um, class. This is kind of more of a 
project-based class but I'm gonna go ahead and open up our program now if we go to should there we go so if I go to my main section here I scroll down alphabetically and I go to the letter P it'll just say photos okay so that actually is the program we're gonna run now another way that you can find it and I can't really show that if I actually go down here hit the search which your search bar may be open click there type in photos and then the app will pop right up okay no oh, hang on I clicked the wrong thing give me a second <laughs> So basically, give me a minute, I'm going to get the pictures I want together. So basically, let's say that we've had some family members that have been in a golf camp. They want us to be able to put our pictures together and make them a little a bit of a slideshow okay So first thing I did was I actually created an album and we actually added the different pictures to our album so basically we just have kind of a day camp golf photos and stuff and we're actually going to turn this into a nice little video kind of a slideshow throwing the showing the kids kind of you know having a good time learning something new if we go to our, our section here we can actually click here and actually click watch or we can go up here and click edit okay I'm gonna go ahead and click watch oh and I'm gonna show you a different way to get here as well so this is kinda of what the video was showing a minute ago how you can actually have it automatically make kind of a video for you pretty quickly especially from a slideshow remember we're also going to talk about video editing with videos as well all right it's thinking <laughs> what do I have to play oh it's thinking about it Okay, it's thinking about it a lot, apparently. Well, let me click it again. Now, I like the program. I like that it's free. I've actually had a few times where it kind of freezes on me. Hopefully this is not one of those times. But in classic using live demonstration, something messing up. Okay, I wanted to do the automatic thing. Hold on. Let's see. 
maybe it's done it now. If that doesn't work, we'll move on from that. But anyway, basically it kind of puts your pictures together. You can actually click the remix. It'll come up with a different theme. And then basically we actually have a palette to start with. I probably would start with it just being uh, the pictures uh, post, posted into the editing um, software so I can edit them uh, with, with uh, moving around the way I want to instead of it like a pre-made theme or something, okay? So if this is taking too long, we'll move ahead and do the other part, okay? All right, and then you click the remix video, the remix video, which means it would change stuff, change music again. It's thinking about it. <laughs> okay, well. <laughs> I'll skip the remix part right now because apparently it wants to think about it too much. Okay, so let's go ahead. Let's click here where it says edit. And here's our big video editor and it's already, apparently it did create it. Okay, good. So let's go here and let's see what it made. I don't know why it didn't play it a minute ago, but let's look and see what it made. Yeah, okay. So. good but it's a little bit out of order isn't it okay let's go back here but I do I just want to give y'all kind of an idea of what you could do there's lots of background uh, music that we can go ahead and choose and everything so there we go right there also another thing that you can do is let's see if you actually go to the start button remember where it said uh, photos if we actually scroll down to the V, there's a video editor and it gets us right to here to begin with. Okay, so we have our pictures. Okay, we know what we want to do. So let's start from scratch because that's not exactly what I wanted us to do as far as our videos. Okay, but let's go ahead and let's, uh, we're going to edit this and kind of start from scratch, okay? So I think I have to choose, let me see if I can do do that. Yeah, okay, good. So I can do that and then get rid of that and we'll start from scratch dragging our stuff in. Okay, so let's start with a clean slate. Okay, so we have our clean slate, okay? So let's go ahead, and I'm gonna walk through our, our, um, our website here that I'm gonna post later too. So basically it talks about creating our videos, and this is from Microsoft here. Yeah, that's helpful, thank you. No, I don't wanna submit a comment. So basically, if we start scrolling down, it'll kinda of walk us through everything here. We can select new video project, name the video, select exactly what we want, and also add things to our storyboard okay so let's go ahead and pull that up so here we are in our video projects here's our ones that we're kind of playing around with we could actually go up here and click new video project but this is the one that we're currently working on so let me go back here yay so the other thing that we can do is if we go up here to Oh yeah, that's fine. Name's fine. Oh, that was just to edit the name. <laughs> if I go here and I actually click add, not only can I add the pictures that we already have on our computer of course. Welcome, welcome.
All right, so we have our pictures here. So we can actually add more if we wanted to. We can say from this PC, from my collection, which is what's included with the Photos app. Okay, so if I click that, it'll show all the photos on my Photos app. Okay, also I can import from the web as well. Now I'm going to go ahead and show this, and we might play around with this a little bit when we do uh, some of our other parts here. So this actually connects up with Bing. This is kind of some of the things that the the, the programmer is doing, and uh, excuse me, the Microsoft suite of, of of software is doing. One of the things, like in Word, you can do is you can import a picture that's like a stock photo. You can also import, import pictures uh, from the online Bing place as well. So if you did want to do this, <laughs> I would probably recommend it be a non uh, you know nonprofit uh, project you're working on. Maybe you just want like a picture of like a birthday cake or even, oh, here's birds. I'll do birds. That's kind of neat. We have our birding class <laughs> tomorrow. So you can insert some pictures of birds. Now, this is just like doing the, the Bing photo search, also doing the um, Bing photo search, the Google photo search, and it pulls up here. Now, it is, it is checked here for Creative Commons so that you can actually use them in your projects. But mostly you want this to be for nonprofit um, sort of projects. And we actually talk about video editing. We'll actually give you some links about some of the stock photo places to go and some recommended stock photo places to get videos and photos from too. So all you got to do is instantly click and add this in there. Let's see what we can do with golf. I think our project we're working on right now, we mostly want to use those pictures. Oh, okay. We got some little graphics in here, and I guess there's a car named a golf. Yes, there it is. <laughs> it's kind of neat. Wow, that's really big. Okay, so we might include a little bit of our stock photo here. I think that'd be kind of cute. Um, let's see. Yeah, I kind of like this a little bit. We might include that. Click there, say insert just a moment and then there's my picture okay so we go up here we talk about what we have what we can do let's start talking about adding our pictures to our storyboard area and then we'll start talking about adding our text in there and sh making changes okay alright so if I look at my pictures and I can look at them in different ways big screen mode Okay. I click, oh, we can actually see that full screen. Uh, when I play the video, you saw that I could actually click there. And a good thing is we actually have the undo button here on the top right, okay, to make any kind of major changes. Now, one of the good things is, so I actually have more pictures than I need. Now, don't I? Okay. Now, we could go ahead and add a title card. Okay. Hang on, I think my thing, yeah, that's a little different than what I want to, the order that I want to do. So I will change. So here's kind of going to the event. I'm going to add that and kind of look at the two of them. I think the one on the left kind of works the best. This is kind of an exit picture after, so that's going to be, that's the thing that's going to be my my last photo of everybody together that was at this, at this class or the clinic. Let's see. So this is kind of a wide angle of the area. Let's see. Like the driving range. Driving range. There's them practicing. One person practicing, uh, one of our teachers, and that's our assistant coach there. Everybody's getting ready, and then we include this. So, might do that, might include, I think that would actually be a really neat kind of title card to kind of play around with that. So all I gotta do is drag it down there. And let's see 
here. So I actually want this. Let me see. I gotta see that bigger. Nah, I guess I can't see that bigger. I guess when I put it there, I'll see it a little bit bigger. Okay, so that's everybody kind of looking happy and everything. So that actually will be like our exit picture. So everybody's kind of getting in line here. So I actually want to show that a lot of the times with your photos, you have a lot more than what you really want to use. Okay. This kind of big picture of the field. Okay. Kind of like a pair panorama. Here's one kind of the left. May not need this picture. If we actually get it to zoom in and then go to the right to kind of make some animation. Here's kind of a longer shot. Let's see. But I don't see our subjects. So our subjects are the people in the class, right? So let's look and see. So again, this one's kind of like a wide shot. And as you see, I can drag it into any order that I want. Let's see. Ooh, if I play that right, that might actually look a little bit like an animation. Let's see. Let's hit the ball. And then hitting the ball. Let's see. And then we hit the ball. There you go. Bloop. All right. So this is kind of a little layout of everything. So I like the scene set up. So here's our location. <laughs> Here's where we are. Here's kind of everybody playing. And then maybe have this one as kind of like an exit photo. So that's kind of like a group picture. Everybody out there practicing. All right, so here's our clinic going on. It looks like it's doing a little bit of a tinge there. I'll actually have to look at that in a minute. So maybe we'll do that one there. I kind of like those together because that kind of makes sense. Maybe having it like that. All right, more people just kind of learning. So da 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 da. Okay, and then we have a far side, and then one person hitting the ball, there goes the ball, and then kind of an in group picture. Okay, so I think we've got the pictures we want. I don't know about that one. Let's see. So we can make a little more action out of it. Okay, so here we are. Let's look and see what we have already, okay? And it still has the music. Okay, so I actually think this one is more of a, a talk, like welcome everybody to class, and then everybody's in action mode, learning something, and then boom, they've all hit the ball. There we go. So I actually think that works as a better go around there. Maybe when we have our funny golf picture there. Because our introduction. Okay, so we still have our music. I'm actually going to do none right now because we're going to be playing this a lot. 
I don't think everybody wants to hear the same music over <laughs> again. Okay, so we've got our video kind of started on the right foot, don't we? And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to start adding our text, okay? So we're, this is Golf Camp. We're going to call this Golf Camp 2019. So let's talk about adding a title card and then we'll talk, we'll just kind of go down our different sections here for our first project, okay? Uh, we might add one 3D thing, but we're not going to focus on doing a movie on uh, this one. So how do we add a title card? So let's do add title card. Uh, I'll do a title card because that makes sense what we're doing right now. There we go. Okay, so here's our title card. How do we edit our title card? Well, you basically just go here. Now, the, here you can choose the background. You can choose the text. So I'm going to choose background to begin with. Oh, well, let me do the, I'll do the text on here. So let's do text. So right now it's going to be basic blue. My goal is to kind of get a background, and I'm actually going to use um, the thing that we talked about earlier is kind of make it like grass or something. So here's our simple, and I'm going to call it golf camp 219 all right so let's do a preview just kind of a simple there you go it slides up this is great because usually the usually the photography class I love how much we get to talk about it, but this I have to, I won't say rush through it, but I just kind of like covering it really quickly. So now we actually get to really talk about it in our, our different sections and everything. So here's our different animated textiles. Let's look and see what that's like. Kind of slides in. Does that have an exit? Let's see if that has an exit animation. Now it just kind of disappears. So this is how you actually control when you want it to come in. Right now our slide is actually shown at three seconds. Huh. So it didn't slide in on a interesting. Why do I have to do it here? There you go. So I actually have to have it in front to make it do that. Okay. Now Here's another thing, I'm actually gonna go through all these, but do realize that down here, I can actually make a change to where I choose uh, where I want the text to show up, okay? So if you want it in a certain area, you pretty much just click right here, it'll pop up, and this one's directly in the middle. There we go. I kind of, I don't know. This is sports. This isn't supposed to be elegant dinner. So here's Joy. I like Joy. It's very colorful, but it may not be what you want your theme to be. But you see how greatly animated that is? Isn't that awesome? Now, again, this is one of those things of if it's a template, it's great. But if you go, hey, I don't really want that color scheme in this program, <laughs> maybe some other ones like Adobe Premiere or some uh, some uh, Vegas or anything like that that has some pre-made uh, settings, which does cost. Um, we may not have uh, may have more control on them, but we're just kind of making a simple slideshow right now. Here it is, Golf Camp. All right, this is pretty neat. It's adventure. Golf camp. Just quiet. Eh. And if I do scroll, believe it or not, there's not a scroll bar. Okay, I see it. It's that thing where Microsoft makes the scroll bar disappear, and only I have to only. Only I know about it, do I know that I can do that. Of course, using the scroll wheel, I can do that as well. Here's boom. Huh. 
<laughs> Hello, Rachel and the crew. Glad you're here. Welcome, welcome. Oh, you're fine. This is a fun one, and we're just I'm just kind of doing a few projects today. <laughs> okay, so if we look here, here's a here's a neat one. Well, that was just kind of eh, not that exciting. All right, let's look at bold. And like I said, if you do the, like the theme one, you can choose a theme, and it'll pop in, and it'll actually. Uh, so there. So let me see if I can think about this the right way. So basically, if you chose a theme, meaning to choose one of these here, like impact and you use that a few times in your project it actually makes it look like it's kind of you know on purpose here's a cartoon one I guess these are just text uh, of the few that are here there we go there's a little bit of animation there's pixel which is kind of fun here's electric which is the one it chose earlier There's chill, and then there's fine print. Wow, it's really, really small. Okay, I think I'm going to go back. I'm not going to do the adventure one. I feel like that one's a little bit too loud. Let's see. What is our boom one like? Okay, if I put it like that, aha! So you see the actual placement makes the animation a little bit different too. I think that's what I'm going to go with because I kind of like that. Okay, so we're going to do done. Alright, now, so we're going to have boom. And then it goes away and goes right into our, our little golf picture there. Okay, so if I choose this. And I'm going to make the background. I can change the color of the background too. But where is my, hold on. Change the background color. Mm. Hope I haven't spoken out of turn. Usually I can get it to do a picture. No, I don't want to make, yeah. Change the changes on that. Yeah, okay. So we'll shoot. Well, that's just the background color. Okay, that's just the background color. I thought I could actually choose a picture. I thought I had done that before, but maybe not. <laughs> okay, good. Good, good, good. So you're in the right place. This is a great place to start because uh, you can share your videos really quick and easily too. Okay, so I thought I could actually make that, but anyway, I think blue will do good, but I may actually change it a little bit to green. I think that might be the best idea. Kind of golf green. All right, so that's gonna be kind of our theme here. All right, so let's look and see what we have. Golf Camp 2019. We have our motion going on, and then we're going right into our slideshow, okay? So now that we did our text, and like I said earlier, I'm gonna, I'm gonna include the, uh, the links and stuff, uh, the pages that I'm on. So this is kind of our, this link is kind of to the preview. This is to the one I'm on right now. scroll down so it's adding text and we'll kind of just kind of go through our main section here yeah because then it starts talking about our 3d objects and stuff so let me go ahead and we're going to talk about 
Whoop. I clicked too many times. So we've added our text here. Let's add an end card. So here's everybody all real happy. And I'm going to add an end card here. So I'm going to add a title card. And how about we say, I'm going to do text. We'll do see you next year. How about that? Let's see how that looks. I kind of like that. I think it looks pretty good. All right, so let's do done. That'll pop up, and then we can actually see our picture of everybody. I think that's a little bit better. So everybody's together there, and I think we'll zoom in with our animation, which is a good idea. So we have this. Zooming in. I think I'll make it a little bit quicker. See you next year. Yeah. So let's see it's starting to come together. Okay. So let's go ahead and let's talk about our duration here. Okay. Now, a lot of folks uh, may see these pictures and it may feel like it goes by too quickly. Okay. Five seconds. This will actually make it three seconds. But it depends on what project you're working on. You may want to make it five seconds, uh, two seconds more. Now, if you make it any longer than six seconds, usually someone has already seen the picture and they're kind of like, yeah, I've seen this picture. Okay. So I'm actually going to change my duration to five seconds on our pictures. And that's just clicking the picture, click duration, five seconds. And this is something that you can customize a little bit more too. Duration, five seconds, duration. And of course, I can just do the checkbox as well. And I'm actually going to mess with this one here where we have the, the golfer. Okay, I don't want to check everything else anymore. So let's look and see, and we're actually going to make this, I'm actually going to make this one a little bit faster. Oh, didn't mean to do that. I missed that saying. I'm going to make this a little faster and make it look like maybe she's hitting the ball at the same time. And I definitely want this to be a little bit longer. And I think I'm going to do it at six seconds. Okay, so let's look what we got. We're almost to a minute almost to a minute, a little bit over a minute with the with the clips and stuff. All right, so let's watch it. Golf Camp 2019. Whew. It's a little different when it doesn't have music. Do 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 ba 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 do 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 ba 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 something like that. <laughs> All right, so basically when we're editing video, an important part is to always set the stage, show the location, maybe even have some, some um, exterior shots <laughs> if you're getting into the filming of uh, like a short movie or something. And some of these pictures are not in the order that they were actually taken now, but it doesn't matter, does it? Okay, because we actually want to have it beginning, we are, we come into the scene, we know what our surroundings are, and then we finish up, okay? Yay! Okay. That's a happy video, isn't it? Okay, so let's talk about our next part here. Have a duration. Now, if I go here and I do text, this is where I can actually write on the screen. So how about just a fun thing like, let's go. And I can move it probably, let me see, should I do the top? Hmm. What would that be like? Let's see, 
and get it a little bigger. And it kind of covers it up. It kind of messes with our color scheme, doesn't it? No, no. Okay, I kind of like the impact one. Okay, I kind of like that. Whoop. It's like in all caps. Okay, I kind of like that. All right, so let's see what that looks like. Dirter, dirter, dirter. Okay, I think it looks pretty good. Golf camp, let's go. And it kind of moved around a little bit, so we got a little bit of animation. We're just going to talk about that in just a second. All right. All right, let's go back to our main thing here. Let's talk about adding a little bit of our effects, okay? And at the end, I want to add a uh, golf ball. because I know I can do that with my 3D. Let's go ahead and look at our music. Oh, shoot, I forgot one thing. So let's talk about our zoom in and our zoom out or our controlling of what our basically animation is. So if I click on any of the pictures here and you'll see that if, when I click, sometimes our menu here will change. So this, let's go to where it actually says motion, okay? So if I do motion, this will pop up. This is where we control. We make our slideshow more into a video. Okay. So right now, because we used kind of our random generator part, it basically says that it's trying to do like a zoom in. Okay. Zoom in and left. Let's see what that's like from a different angle. Eh, it might work. We have the ones that we can make it do like a tilt. Because the road's going that way, I actually think this is a good idea to have it go from left to right. So it kind of looks like we're going up into the road. Okay, so I kind of like that one. Think about your storytelling. Golf camp, let's go, and then kind of a zoom moving to the right. Now this is the one that I wanted it to have a much more prevalent um, going from left to right. Okay. So let's see. <laughs> zoom in, zoom left, zoom right, pan up, tilt. See what that looks like. Okay. So we have the setting that says pan right. Gives a little bit more of a view going to the right than what we had before. So let's look and see what that's like. So we're coming in, looking to the right, and then we're kind of getting to where we see everybody. I 
I kind of think those look good. It's just kind of zooming in, kind of moving around a little bit. Don't want to give too much motion, of course. But giving the giving the pictures a little bit of motion. No, see that? So we're moving the wrong way. I want it to be going that we're going to the right. So I'm going to change the motion on that. So pan to right. And that should give a little bit more of a Let's see, what about pan? Let's do pan to right. Yeah, okay, so I kind of like that better. So that's kind of giving our eye a little bit going to the right. There we go. Let's see. I kind of like that one, but this one not too much. Let's see. So right now it is going. No, I don't want that. How about? Let's see. Pan to right. I think that would be better. There we go. So if we do. There you go. See, now we kind of have a motion going to the right motion to the right there we go we've hit the ball there you go it's kind of going going eh, maybe we should have it go it weighs it the way now it's kind of zooming out why don't we zoom in like she hit the ball and now it's kind of going going that way Let's see, zoom in, not to the left, to the right. Okay, that gives us a little bit more motion. Okay, so let's look and see what that's like. So messing with the, the motion of your, your photos can really give them a little bit of a life and deciding exactly what, you know, what's going on in the photo. Now, we could actually shorten this and give it a little bit more of a motion to it if we wanted to so I do duration and I'm actually going to change it maybe to two seconds and then see what we think about that and that could give it a little bit more action like she's hitting the ball okay chop boom there you go see it's already doing it now if you did it a second you could do the same thing Okay, now this is our final shot of our students. So what do we want it to be? Kind of a zoom in. I think that looks pretty good. Or maybe just a zoom in center. Everybody with smiley faces on the face. Yeah, I think that looks, looks good. Okay, and then we finish up with see you next year. How about this? Instead of that, how about we add a text on here that says see you next year. Let's see what that looks, looks like. Maybe move this so we have that at the end and it kind of goes into there we go I like that that's a little too much okay let's look at that see you next year I like that do you like that I kind of like that better than the than the empty picture. So I'm actually going to check that and do delete. Okay. Now let's talk about adding some music. Okay. Now it comes with a whole bunch of music, um, and uh, it, it's really fun because some of the some of them are really interesting. Now the good part about it is you can actually upload your own uh, music on here as well, and it does support MP3 
and WAV files too. So that's usually the biggest question I get asked. Does this support MP3 and WAV files? Yes, it does, okay? So let's go up here and let's do uh, background music. And if you want to upload your own, you can click here where it says custom audio. And that's where you can actually add your own files here. And we click add. It actually shows that it does support MP3, whole bunch of different other files as well. Oh good, that's recently been updated because the last time I looked here, it just said MP3 and WAV files. But MP3 files, whole bunch of other different files too. And well, I don't even see WAV files. It would, there it is. There's a WAV file right there. So you can upload your own picture and your, um, excuse me, up upload your own music on here too. Okay, so let's do uh, background music. Let's just have a fun listening at a few of these. And here's something that's interesting. Sync your video to the music's beat, okay? Now, if we do that, it actually will mess with our time. I'm actually gonna uncheck that right now. One of these makes us think about golf. Hopefully some of these are giving you some ideas though, okay? If you chose uh, really annoying music, someone may not want to watch your video for very long though. Or you give a, uh, the wrong impression. That's the possibility. That sounds like a great uh, travel one. So these are just, I just click here, it says background music. And there, these are all right here. Oh, I will tell you this, um, make sure that your Windows 10 is up to date because Microsoft will um, continuously update this, uh, this app in general. But you should be able to see all the, song, the songs on here that are included. I have had one in class where the computer wasn't updated and it did not include some of the features. Uh, so make sure that uh, the Windows uh, 10, you know, update has run and stuff, okay? I kinda like this one, I use this a lot too. So if, there, if you did wanna find other, you know, music, you could rip them from CDs or whatever if you wanted to. And of course, there's certain websites that will have, you know, uh, other royalty-free music as well. Even Facebook has a really nice royalty-free uh, section that you can download stuff to. But basically, just search Google royalty-free music. There you go, right there. There's a lot of artists out there that really want to put their music out. So having people use them in the projects that they're working on can help. <laughs>
wedding one right there if you were doing something for a wedding reception. But I actually know which ones I'm going to choose. I really like the funky strut one. I kind of always have. It doesn't really get old where some of the rest might. Okay, so now if you were, had some ideas here, you could set it to sync. It would actually change the time. So it's kind of like a da, 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 change, da, 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 change. But because I have a few of them that I want to be very specific or fast, I'm actually going to tell it to not sync to the musical beat. Okay, so I'm going to hit done. Now let's go ahead and let's talk about our next part here. And that's actually, and I think some of these may already have the filter built, used already, but another effect that we can do is we're actually going to add a golf ball at the end thing here too, but let's go ahead and do the filter part. Filter, we can actually add a filter. And yes, I thought so. So because we had used, you know, kind of like a random go ahead and make the video for me, it had uh, already made a few filters on there. So a big one on this is, of course, this is, this is none. A big one on this would be to try to make things greener, okay? Because this is definitely a photo about golf. Okay, I think that looks a little bit, that's a little dark though. Hmm. Here's the original. I think classic helps it out. So some of these, I think this one must have a filter on it. Okay, so they did energy, classic. I kind of like that. It's kind of a cool green, isn't it? So do you realize you can add filters on there, kind of have a cool green. Let's look and see what this one is. Yeah, energy as well. Now, a good part about using a filter in general and with film, we actually uh, may not realize it, but they'll film things and then they put a filter on it. And there's even certain movies that people call it the green movie <laughs> because there's a green filter. And one of the things this will do is it'll, it'll unify the video you filmed. It'll unify uh, the photos you've taken as well, okay? For color contrast, it will. Okay, so let's go ahead now that we've added music to it and let's look at it full screen. Oh, hang on. I wanted to add um, a something 3D uh, cool at the end. Okay, so let's look at here. I'm actually going to go to my last slide and I'm going to click where it says 3D effects. Do you see that? So click there, 3D effects. Now I've actually, I will tell you this, I've actually had it where, because this is loads it basically like a website, I've had it where it loads kind of slowly. So if you do have that issue, maybe it's being used a lot, not 100% sure, but here's our different effects, which we're gonna play around with them a little bit more in just a minute. But you can see that we can actually add things to our picture. Our goal is we're gonna put a 3D object in there but we're going to mess around with our main effects uh, when we're kind of messing around with our little bit of a short film okay so as you can kind of scroll through there we have some funny stuff on here different animations but i actually want to go up to where it says 3d library okay do you see that 3d library and it may take a second to load and I'll just talk while it loads. How about that? So <laughs> these are objects. These are 3D. Okay. This connects up with Microsoft's free 3D library. If you use the new um, paint app. Yeah, it's still loading. If you use the new paint app, you'll actually see that you can actually edit these and that as well. And it's like animals. Now, most of these that I've found out are not animated. We can actually add kind of a fun animation to them. Um, there's actually a, in the paint program, you can do a little bit of like an animation. So I'm not sure if you can import that. I haven't played around with that that much, but 
just to be able to do this is a lot of fun. There's a bird. So I'm going to go back and there's a dinosaur, all kinds of fun stuff to add. And we go to outdoor nature. Okay. There's like a tree, leaves. But what I'm interested in is I'm interested in golf. So I'm going to go back and click. Just trying to give you kind of an overview. You know, fun, silly stuff. Here's even stuff that you can put on someone's face to kind of make them uh, laugh. So you could put a, a 3D um, mustache on their face or something. A lot, a lot of fun uh, possibilities here. Animate things. There you go. Let's see. Here's celebration, birthday cakes, all these 3D objects you could actually put. There's a metal you might be able to put on someone that could be interesting. Let's see, humor, kind of silly stuff. Let's see, oh, Minecraft stuff. Microsoft owns Minecraft, so they like to encourage Minecraft. Sports and recreation. Now I could just do search for golf. There's a golf club. Cool. Drum. Golf ball is what I'm actually here for. And I could just type in the search golf up here and it'll pull up there too. So that's what I want. I'm just going to download it. It's loading. Yay. Okay. So now we have our golf ball. And kind of my goal is to have it kind of like the golf ball appears and then does like a little animation. Okay. So I might put the golf ball, might make him a little smaller. And then right about there, I think. Let's look at our text. Eh. Okay, so there's our golf ball. Now if you want to draw out its animation, you drag this. But I think here at the end would be kind of a neat surprise to let it kind of do a bit of a jump, okay? So if I make it here, so when their text appears, see you next year, the golf ball appears, and then I'll make it do like a little jump, and then it should disappear. Well, we'll let the text fade out. All right, so how do we do our, this is how we can control the 3D object if we want to. It's a golf ball. We're not gonna see it move around much. <laughs> but if it was a live ob object, we could actually control it that way. And if I go up here to our quick animation, um, the one thing about this is, is, and believe it or not, this is actually available in Word and PowerPoint as well. This takes a 3D drawn object. It doesn't technically animate it. It's more like it's created animation with our object. Let's see. So you see it turning. See it turning. So like turning, swinging. Here, I'll hit play. <laughs> So it's kind of moving around. There's one on here that I know I want to use. I think it's the jump and turn. Alright, so with that one I might move that a little bit more in there. Let's see. And it had a little bit of a sound effect. Did you hear it? Okay, so if I move it, let's see. And we'll have it disappear with our text. That should make that. Eh, I think that works. Okay, so we can actually give it to wobble. Do like a hop, jump, and turn is what my kind of goal was. And then we actually hit done. All right, so let's kind of look at our final, 
our final finished project, project here, okay? Full screen, here we go. Must have done something. Hold on. <laughs> Where's my golf ball? Yeah. <laughs> yes, I want the golf ball in there. Let's see. Will. I've come across a few glitches in this pro program. Hmm. Is it some kind of layer thing going on here? <laughs> Hold on. Let's see. I'm in the edit, speedy library. Okay. I, I want to see the golf ball. Mm hmm. I've actually had this happen before, where I add an effect and you can't see it for some reason. Okay, well I'll just add it again. <laughs> oh, they have a golf hat too. Oh, what is that? Okay, I kind of like this one better, to be honest. It says golf on it. Let's get jump and turn. And I want it to be stretched out. What about there? And we had it cut at the end. So we had our text. Whoop, you screwed over. So see you next year. Golf ball does a big turn and spin and then disappears. All right, so let's try that. I need to make it a little smaller. Make it a little smaller. Okay, now. There we go. I don't know what happened. I've actually had that happen before. Where I added an effect and it doesn't take it for some reason. Okay. Golf Camp 2019. Yeah. Hope you like the music.
How about that? Okay, so we finished our project. Now let's talk about saving our project. So we have finish, okay. So we go up here to the top right, export. And what do we want? We want high quality 1080p, yes, okay. What are our other options? Uh, that's just about the computer hardware. So I do export. It'll say where. And I'll tell it to save it to my pictures. And I'll just call it golf. It saves as an MP4 file, which is very supported by YouTube. Um, that's really the, the, the thing it uses, the codec it uses. So, okay, export. <laughs> All right, there, here we go. like that it's not perfect but I think it works very well okay now now we're actually going to pull some videos in we are work on another project and we'll do some trimming of our videos and stuff and everything else we've uh, basically covered uh, we will actually add some special effects and stuff okay so what I want to do is I actually want my next project to be we're going to talk about birds of our backyard okay so click the back button and let's go up and let's click where it says new video project and I'm gonna say birds birds in the backyard okay now again you could just pull from your library but I actually am going to pull pictures from a different source. Let me check that source real quick. <laughs> now I have that song in my head. Do you have that song in your head? Do -do 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 -do. Do -do 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 -do. Now what's an easy way of uh, how would I probably share the video we just made is I would probably use it I put it in the pictures folder and I would base or I'd actually just upload it to the Google Photos and I could share it that way. That would be the easiest way for me to share um, the video that we just made. Okay, so I want to make sure. Let me go. Okay. So I have some pictures. I'm say from this CD, for my collection, again, would go back to our uh, main parts. Can I, does this have. I did want to see, does this have video? Hmm. I'm not sure if it has video on or not, because it just says images. But there's a ton of locations that I can actually get video from. Let me show you that. And this website actually has a fantastic tutorial and I'll post that in the chat as well so it kind of goes through everything a little bit at opening up the video editor creating a new video 
which is what we're doing now. And I want to show you where you can actually get stock videos. So if you were wanting to do just kind of a fun, uh, <laughs> if you want to do kind of like a fun film, uh, what, what's a good, what's some good ideas on how to do that? And I also have some uh, some video editing recommendations, software recommendations, if you want to get beyond this class too. So, well, there's the free. That's not what I want. Hold on. Where is, hold on, I'm blanking, give me one second. Da, 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 da. So there's many places that you can actually get a video from if you wanted to play around with creating your own videos. There's actually video uh, list. There's free royalty free video on here as well. Okay. Pick a bay is probably my first choice. In the class, I'll post some others um, as well, but you can go up here to videos and download them. Oh, here's clouds. And I'm just going to use the, the birdie ones. So these are videos that you can download for free, add to your own projects, edit them, kind of give it more of a little bit of a scope, a feel. Uh, even, even if you were just doing a, a normal uh, kind of a uh, travel video to a, a famous city, I think even using some stock photo of like a flyover would actually be pretty, pretty cool. Okay. That's a pretty, that's pretty there. Let's see, bird. Oh, look. There you go. So I can actually see us use some of these. But I'm going to use the videos that I have. Now, if you really get into this, do you realize that you can get some really high quality pictures as well not just free but then they could cost for the different services but depending on what you're using them for the cost may be uh, very negligible okay there's a bunch that are flying around too okay so it's going back here posted this so let's jump into our project so we've come in here and we're actually uh, created our video project. We've given it a name. Let's go ahead and start adding some of our pictures. Okay. And if you came to the burning class, some of these pictures may actually look a little bit um, uh, familiar. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> And I have some pictures too. I want to add those as well. Let's see. And I have a new one to add a really slow motion cardinal. All right. So here's my pictures, including our videos. They're loading on there. Uh, most of these I just filmed with uh, my cell phone. And let's take a look at our pictures. Oh, that's just letting me know it's a picture. Okay. So let's go ahead and we will. They're all checked. So if I do place, it should pop up that way. Okay. Now. Let's talk about our different themes, okay? So if I do my drop down over here and I click themes, 
it'll actually give us a preview of a lot of the, the right now I'm on no theme but I could choose a theme and there's a preview of some of those videos. So this that was a great example of having a mix of this is a great example of having a mix of the stills and the videos mixed together. You're giving them uh, the pictures animation by g giving them motion. You're also giving text uh, to the pictures, not just let them be there as well. It gives them their own life. <laughs> comes in and automatically kind of make starts making the video for me. Got a sound Let me let me show you what we have to begin with and I'm actually going to turn the background music off because I don't want that to be annoying so let me show you this is going to kind of go through the full range of the pictures and kind of the videos I have um, and I also have some seagull stuff too so this is just kind of a raw of what we're going what our project and what we have to work with <laughs> That's the, that's what I was telling you. Those are the females. And this is a uh, brown thrasher <laughs> in my backyard fighting off a snake. <laughs> Woke up to this and looked out the window and went, "Oh my god!" <laughs> and got my camera and was like, "Oh, I got to get a video of this." He's like, "Get out of here! You get out of here!" That's one brave snake. See where it goes. Go outside. I mean, excuse me. That's See one brave thrasher fighting off a snake.
and here's a hummingbird it's it's very um quick so the hummingbird i plan to loop a little bit because it's His a very chick quick got a worm he it's sure does talking. it's a cardinal in the yard have has eaten a worm that's a robin nope that's a northern cardinal okay Okay, so you see that's all our videos we're going to be dealing with. Rachel says we are already picked out our pictures from our many, many pictures. I know what we will be doing for the rest of the day. That's great. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. It really is. And the funny thing is a lot of the time you're not 100% sure what you want it to be. Uh, to begin with, you know, like, well, I have these pictures, I have these videos, we can make sound, and it really starts to come together, and you really start to have a vision. Okay, they're making posts, social media. <laughs> I will not say which one. That's perfectly fine. Some dancing might be involved. <laughs> Fun dancing. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, so uh, one of the things about this is, what do we have? Well, we have pictures that were not taken on the same day. Okay, so we don't really have to worry about story-wise, beginning, middle, and end. Okay, we do want it to have um, a beginning. <laughs> uh, we do want it to have a little bit of a placement about what's going on here. And we also have videos that are too long. So we're going to talk about trimming. You, uh, which is technically editing. Okay, now in a more advanced program, of course, we could do um, some different... Uh, parts with it and of course uh, one quick one thing that's popped up here is you'll see where it says trim split and also we have a new one called speed because now we're dealing with videos okay and all that will pop up automatically okay you've seen me movies you've seen tv shows you've seen what you're interested in how many times have you seen a movie and you go why did they show us who the bad guy was at the beginning if they had edited that differently, we might not have known who it was, and then we could have had this big mystery. The whole movie, uh, that will happen to me. <laughs> Watch a movie, and for some reason, the editor decided to show that the bad guy was watching, and you're like, oh no, I've already guessed who the bad guy is. So kind of think about that if you're doing kind of a fun, short movie. Uh, kind of think about that if you're doing just home, home movies and stuff like that. And... It's fantastic, it's great, and it's one of those things that you'll keep with you forever. And there are some people that have a really great talent for it, and they want to turn it into a career. So our big thing that we have going on here is we have pictures in the backyard. We also have some video uh, from a trip, okay? So I actually want to push the seagulls to basically kind of the end. So we've got ones of birds chirping. We got ones of walking around. The, thing, the seagull one is 16 seconds long. This one is 26 seconds long. It's too long, okay? So that's kind of our goal. So I think I'm gonna start off with my pictures first. Okay. And I definitely want to have a little bit of action going on with our zoom in zoom out pictures here and I think I've got uh, a few things and we might get a little creative and kind of fun here with our special effects okay so here's the backyard one and I think our climax to so our video should actually be uh, the big the the maybe the the seagulls here the trip outside and definitely include the snake fight should be our 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 lasting uh, view here so let's move these here 
And again, a lot of the time you may sit and go, well, I want to make sure I include all this, but sometimes less is more, okay? So right now I have two pictures of the cardinal. I may only want to cut it down to one, okay? Because less is more. And backyard, backyard, backyard. Okay, so now we kind of have that in a little bit of a better order, don't we? Alrighty. So here's our backyard, backyard. Now if I make that a little fast, make this one faster than three seconds, it may make him have a little bit of a feel like he has, he's animated, okay? So I've actually cut that down, kind of like the golf that we did earlier. So if I cut that down, let's say two seconds, then it's not focused on it as much, and maybe even get it where he's kind of the, the motion is moving from right to left. Here we go. So let's kind of, he's walking into frame. But let's go ahead and let's talk about editing our video because that's really what we need to focus on now because we've kind of covered everything else. So here's our video in our yard of the snake fight. It's fighting a snake. Okay. So let's go ahead and let's talk about trim. Now, a lot of these, if you hover over it, of course, and I'm going to add title and all that kind of stuff too, but let's talk about uh, trimming our videos back a little bit. So we also have our trim a video, making it shorter. We also have split a video. Now, with video editing software, like I said, you can go beyond this. Um, Vegas is a one that usually you can get like a student teacher discount that's a lot more professional. There's also free ones all out there, and some people can actually use Blender. Uh, pretty quick which is a free one um, I personally will use this for little projects and then I actually have Vegas um, to do other projects with but you can still do a lot of this and just like all that stuff a lot of those the apps on the phones are getting more savvy at least for some basic cuts um, but maybe a long big project something that you need multiple multiple levels going on we're not even dealing with sound effects or anything here. We're just dealing with some background music, okay? So let's go ahead here and let's talk about our, let's go in and do our trim. A lot of the times you're actually going in and doing a split of a video so that you can cut the different parts. So if this, if this actually had uh, more than one part that I wanted, what I could do is I could split the video and then make it faster do some faster cuts on it okay so I think let's go into our trim and see what that looks like so here's our snake so do kind of think about your editing you don't just have to cut out the the different parts of, of it that you don't like but you can actually split parts of it do kind of jump cuts um, to the next part I'm trying to explain that a better way <laughs> about the parts that you think are really interesting and it makes it a lot more interesting too. Huge. Alex. So we definitely want to cut out the part. So basically it's over. The, the snake is gone. Comes. We can't see the bird anymore. So now officially we want this video And maybe I can work on the movement. And there's certain video apps that'll actually help with the stabilization. So basically, when that snake is out of frame, this video should definitely be over. And if I drag that over there, so let's see what our video looks like now. I even think we should start um, because because my video actually 
starts with the zoom out and then I zoom in see so I actually my video should start like right here fully zoomed in ready and that shaky camera I could actually do a split and maybe cut that out <laughs> okay, so I'm going to do a done. And now we have a 30 second video, don't we? I'm going to go into the split. Okay. And play my video. And I want to cut it. So I see the snake. He gets the snake twice. I want to see his wings up. That's really cool. And then we move around way too much. And I could cut that part. It's right about here. Okay. So I'm actually going to split. There's the new clip. Say done. Now we actually have. We have our new cut, goes in here, our secondary cut, and I'm going to do split again. So this is right after the shakiness. So there's our shakiness. And if I go right about here and then do, uh, well, actually, I should have done trim. So let me go back here and I'm going to do trim. I actually want to cut out the shakiness part. So it's right about here. I'm going to do done. All right, now let's watch how that's going already. We have our snake. We're already zoomed in. We're watching the action. And it should kind of cut. Whoop. Hold on, I didn't do something right. I don't know what did I do wrong. Okay, so go back to the trim. Okay, hang on, what did I do? So this video. Oh, hang on, what have I done? So I want to cut that before it does all that shakiness. Right about there. All right, now. So we're zoomed in already. There we go, see? And then we get a little bit of motion. And then the snake gets away. Alex. This chickadee's got a worm. Okay, so this one here, I'm gonna split, trim a little bit more. Alex. 
because I had grabbed the camera it gets real nauseating there all right let's try that <laughs> all right so we have a little bit of motion there so already our scene looks better now you can of course go in here and mute it which there's no sound from our subject so it's best to mute it so if we look at our video now This chickadee's got a worm. He sure <laughs> does. All right, so if we go here, and if I click, what will that do? This is interesting because, oh, geez, okay. Well, that's extreme zoom in. Definitely do not think I want that. Huh, okay. Well, how about that? And then you get a, a long shot. All right, so let's see what that looks like. This may be too zoomed in. And this could, of course, could affect the resolution as well, but Maybe you get a closer view of the actual action. The actual action, that's funny. There goes the snake. Okay, and then we have the beginning and end. Even though we have a um, a setting there where it does jumble around move around a lot we have a beginning we have a middle the fight we have the biting I cut out the shakiness in the middle and now even though it has a bit of a shake at the end there we do get to see the snake disappear behind the bush and that's our ending okay so we have a beginning middle and an end at least a beginning for us okay all right so let's go to our front part and let's add title card and sometimes you may just want to I don't think I'm gonna do that uh, let's see I think I'm not gonna do a title card that way I'm actually just gonna add a text to my picture I think that'll work better and I'm gonna say backyard birds Backyard is one word. All right, see what that looks like. I actually want that to zoom in. We're going to keep it that way, but I want to change my motion. I want my motion to be uh, zooming in, not out. There we go. See what that looks like. See? There we go. We're going zooming in is what we're doing. Now, if we wanted to, could make it that. Mm, that may actually work better. Let's see. Yeah, it's a little bit low resolution, but I think it kind of gets what we want. Now, these here. I could actually add a, a title card. So there's our title card, Backyard Birds, pops in, says something like family, family of Blue Jays. 
Now, one problem I have here is this one is a very blurry picture, but you have to realize there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blue jays here. So that's kind of what my uh, big thing is. So I'm going to say text. I'm going to say family. I kind of like the classical. Classic, we're doing that. I think that looks good. All right, so we got backyard birds, family of blue jays, and there's seven that fly in. And we cut our cardinal a little bit on time, so it, we get a little bit of animation there. And then maybe we will call this, um, let's see, we'll add some, uh, let's see, actioning. Okay. No, no, no. I actually want to. I want to add a title card. There it is. Ooh. Uh, how about we say Thrasher versus something else? And we're getting close to the end of class. I just realized that. Hold on. So we have Thrasher. The big fight. Thrasher versus snake and I'm gonna put that in the middle I think and we need something exciting don't we how about that the big fight thrasher versus snake okay now I know we're running low on time here so I'm gonna go ahead and throw out some of our extra stuff here and we'll finish up our video so we have our long video here with the pulling out the worm so we were going to leave that alone right now I probably would cut that up and just kind of zoom in on it this is one where I have the the uh, hummingbird and what I can do is I actually want it to I could set it to um, you know do it more than once if I wanted to repeat the clip um, or the other thing I could do is I can actually make it slower okay so I'm actually going to change the speed right now it's on normal and I'm actually going to set it to kind of slow so let's see how that is and then I'll actually push it to um, oh that's two minutes we don't want it that slow hold on we don't want it that slow there's normal. I get it half. Okay, let's try that. Oh, I don't know why I thought that was two minutes. That's weird. Do it full slow. All right, so let's see that. And that might be too slow. Yeah, I think it's too slow. All right, so let's change its speed. So here's our normal. Let's check out the normal real quick. Normal. He just sticks his little head up. We do our speed. About one eighth. Let's see what that's like. Ah, that looks better already. There you go. So you can get a good view of him.
folks don't even realize it was slower. Okay, so the next part I probably would do a title card here and say something like uh, Beach Birds. Beach birds. I would do classical. All right, so we can hear that. I'd probably trim down the birds here, but you could um, do the speed change if you wanted to as well. And let's do something kind of fun, and we'll wrap class up here. We're actually going to make the birds think that they're in a snowstorm. Okay. Let's go over here and let's click where it says 3D effects. Oh, by the way, don't forget that you we do have the filters and that does actually work for our video as well, okay? Big thing about the video is cutting our video down. But let's do our 3D effects. And let's go ahead and get kind of a preview of what our 3D effects would be like. Look, it's snowing. Isn't that cool? It's kind of snowing where the birds are. Now, again, this is one of those things where we have our pre-made. Okay, we go to effects. Um, and there are there's fireworks. Okay. Hold on. We can resize what we want our effects to be. This talks about the length. So some of our effects already have pre-made length. So you may say, oh, well, I want it to show up here. Just drag it along. Oh, no, there's a fight going on where the birds are. Okay. And if I want to add more. Here's snow, lightning bolt, balloons. They even have a search for the effects. So it's kind of all the effects. Uh, here's the balloons one. So add balloons there. Of course, you can change the size of them and you can kind of rotate them around a little bit too. Now, that'll that make it look like it's upside down or something. But if we go to effects, and there's bubbles, there's also things like campfire. Now this is where we get into, it's ha it has stuff like for a movie apparently, so that you can do like movie effects and stuff. So could you technically have a um, meteorite come and crash? Uh, yes, you can actually. So you could technically have a meteorite come and crash. And well, let's, let's move our meteorite over a little bit and then we can actually add fire to it if we wanted to an explosion okay so we have our meteorite we have our explosion and if I can get it near there it may look like it the meteorite is causing the explosion okay All right, so we got, let's kind of look at that real quick. Like I said, we're running close on time. And <laughs> the meteorite. Anyway, if you mess around with it a little bit, you can actually get it to do a lot. All right, so even though this is a free video editor, it's a great place to start, or if you want to do some basic editing. I really like the effects. There's all these kind of holiday effects. There's also things where you can put like pretend you're a news organization, uh, fire, fireworks like I said, rose petals, sci-fi portals, you know, kind of opening up all of a sudden on our, in our, our movie or whatever and you can say, oh no, there's a, sci a portal is opened up and uh, filming, do the basic editing, splitting your videos, which is very important. 
and weather changes, all kinds of stuff, and even some silly stuff too. So yeah. Ooh, electricity, sonar, snowflakes. So we have our big snowflakes falling everywhere. All right, so now that we've added a whole bunch of effects to our video, let's check it out. How about that? Okay, so hopefully that get, has gotten you started, given you some good ideas, something you may or may not have known that was already on your computer <laughs> to kind of play around with and everything. Um, but yeah, so yeah. Since it's two minutes, I won't show everything. Let's just look at our, our first part. And if we chose a fun background for it. So look at our final thing and we'll wrap up class. So it still needs a little help, but we've done pretty good today, haven't we? And it automatically saves so I can actually come back and edit it at any time and everything. So we've actually come to the end of our class. Oh, I know I did go over uh, more than usual because I wanted to make sure that we did cover the little bit at the end. And uh, just a little bit of a side note, today at 2.30, we're actually going to be doing Google Suite class, so come join me on that, of course, with our YouTube channel here, and we will be doing our video creating basic class again uh, near the end of the month on the 26th, okay? So definitely come join me for that class tomorrow and to, um, the, on the 26th. Uh, join me for the um, uh, Google Suite this afternoon at 2.30. And then tomorrow we're going to be doing eBay and Marketplace, uh, Facebook Marketplace, Internet Buying and Selling. And we're going to be doing birding class tomorrow afternoon. So come join me for that. Okay. Uh, again, just to remind everybody, our libraries are open with limited services and hours. Okay. Curbside holds pickup is available. So you can go to gchrl.org for more details or call into library questions. Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Don't forget to like us on Facebook. 
and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. And if you're having problems finding our channel, just search YouTube, search for GCHRL uh, videos on YouTube and it'll pull right up. Okay, so very glad that everybody was here to join me today. Thank you everybody for coming and everything. And I will see you guys this afternoon or I'll see you tomorrow or for one of our other classes and stuff. So again, thank you for coming. I'll see y'all next time. Stay safe. Have a great day. Bye-bye. <laughs>